Hello and welcome to a new video. This is our 2017 on a 66 plate BMW 320D X-Drive M Sport GT with the Auto ZF gearbox with the paddle shift. This car has just 32,937, I think it is, miles with full service history. The car has a really nice spec. It's finished in Alpine white. All of the bodywork has been machine polished to a really high level. Two people spending a whole day on a car to bring it up to this level. I mean, all of our cars come in really clean, but they get the full works when they come in. And so we're gonna take you around the bodywork. There's some really good spec on the car. It's got the M Sport Plus package. We've also fitted some black gloss grills in the front to really enhance the look of the vehicle. But I'm just gonna bring you in. It's got adaptive LED icon lights. Now these lights are quite an expensive option, to be honest with you. Uh, they're around about, um, let me think, 600 pounds as an option. And basically they will follow the steering angle sensor on the steering wheel so that as you turn the corner, the lights will shine in the direction that you're pointing in. You can see them flickering, so LEDs. You've got a different sort of finish on the halo part. And there's also high beam assist. So there's a camera up on the top here. I don't know if you can see that just in there. You probably just make it out now. And the high beam assist will automatically dip the headlights for you. So when a car's coming the other way or you drive into a lit up area, the camera picks up the light and dips the headlights for you. We've got front and rear parking sensors, front fog lights. The front of the car has, well, I'm looking to see if there's much in the way of chipping, but there really isn't. And it's not pitted at all. It's in really nice condition. If we come up onto the top here, this is an area where you also get stone chips just on this front edge. Very common area. Can't really see it in the camera. There's a couple of little like pinprick dots there, but they're not even chips really. And if we come across the bonnet, nice and slowly, there's nothing. It really is like a mirror, this. And because it's been machine polished, it's brought that real glossy finish and the depth of the white out as well. It's funny because white cars, when they've got road grime on them, they can look a lot duller. And if you look now as I come out, it's very, very white. It's got a lovely gloss. I'm gonna come up now. The windscreen is actually in really nice condition as well. There's no nasty marks or chips on there. If we come up onto the roof again, absolutely spotless there's no bird dropping stains you know if you leave bird droppings on your paintwork in the sun it will eat into the lacquer and cause it to crack and blister there's none of that we've got the privacy glass at the back and then all on the top spoiler here so this spoiler actually pops up when you go over i think it's probably about 50 miles an hour but there's a button to pop it up if you want to clean under there which we can show you all the rear of the bumper to come down all of the exhaust has come up really nice I'll just bring you in and just show you it's like new just look, look how nice that's come up because this is the X drive as well. So it's BMW's four wheel drive system, it uses a multi plated magnetic clutch and it can throw power from the front to the rear or the rear to the front in the fractions of a second. I think it's like 0.2 of a second. So when you're driving through um, sort of slippery surfaces or if you're if you're driving for a road which has got wet patches and there's you get slippage it can throw the power to the wheels of the grip 
to maintain traction, which is obviously very good if you live in an area where you get a bit of snow or slippery roads. And it uses the traction control along with the four-wheel drive unit to maintain grip at all times. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in, just had a look at this side, so I'm gonna bring you in and show you closer to the panels. And also, if we come down, it's always the best way to look down the side of a car and see that the panels are completely true. There's no ripples, it's not had any damage in its life. The wheels have been freshly uh, re-diamond cut, powder coated and diamond cut. All in lovely condition. You've got the M Sport brakes on this as well. With, now they're not 704M alloys on these, I forget the number, it's a slightly different, very slightly different shape I think it is. Very similar to the 704Ms. So the wheels are immaculate, like I said, they've just been re-powder coated. Now I'm gonna grab the key while we're on this side and just press the unlock button and you'll see, we've got the LED lights under the door handles as well. All of the door edges are clean, no chipping. That will move around the back of the car. All of the rear lights have been polished. All of the lenses. We we'll look along the top of the rear bumper. There's no dig marks or anything like that. All around the filler cap. Let me just open that for a second. All nice and clean in there as well. My squeaky shoes today. I'm looking down the side of the car again. You can see the reflection if I just move the camera around. And then the rear wheel and the brakes. Door edge again no damage and the driver door handle all around there free of any scratches the nice black gloss air vent inside there all the wing mirror cases are lovely all of the black gloss has been machine polished let's move back out squeaky squeak obviously we've got the light from a different side here yeah. really um practical cars the gts so without going too big i'm going to pop the bonnet now just flip those lights off for a second two pulls of the bonnet release and then you can just lift up so they sit a bit higher the 320 gt they've got a nice big hatchback So this is the engine bay, of course. All nice and clean. All of these covers come off. You won't find any leaves down in there. It's all been hoovered out. Not jet washed to oblivion, which just causes a lot of mess, which blocks up the waterways. A lot of WD-40 is used on the engine bays, as I've said many times. Nice and safe product to use in the engine bay. All the way back. All nice and clean in there. And the twin power turbo. So basically what the twin power turbo is on this particular engine is a twin scroll turbo which has two inlets to the turbo. So it sort of splits the cylinders, of the engine. So the exhaust gases come, in this case, from two cylinders and go into the turbo on one side and the other two on the other side. And what that does is gives you a much more responsive um, acceleration because the turbo can spin up quicker. It's more fuel efficient. So it packs a bit of punch all in all. So we're gonna put the bonnet down Always bring the bonnet down to about there. 
and just drop it. No pushing with your hands on the top because that will just put dents into your bonnet. You don't want to be pushing on there because there are twi uh, like a uh, words fail me today. Um, like a twin skin on the uh, on the uh, bonnet, so you can't always get behind to take the dents out, basically. So the car's looking really lovely. Let's take a look inside now. Helps if we open it. There we go. And we've got the brushed aluminium with what they call the pearl chrome finisher. Let me just adjust my hand. All of the door card in really nice condition. And we've got the puddle lights at the bottom. You can see just how clean the car is all the way down there as well. Pop this key back in my pocket, it's always quite hard. Okay, right. So we've got the Harman Kardon sound system. So we've got two speakers in the door card there. There are more speakers under the seat, up in front of the media on the top of the dash there, and more in the back, about 16, as I say, in total. Now, if I can keep this in focus, because white cars are extremely hard to video in here. It's very bright. You can see that the seal really nice condition even where the door hinges are look at the rubbers everything is in lovely condition all the way around and again we've got the brushed aluminium inside with the pearl chrome finisher which is the narrow section at the bottom professional media heated seats heated steering wheel as well on this car ZF gearbox and this is the iDrive wheel that we can write on the top of. Let's just bring that out a little bit. Center armrest. The black Dakota leather seats. Got the little button there which inflates the bolsters either side. I nearly said it blew them up. Then we don't want any videos for things that get blown up in, do we? Okay. <laughs> I said that for so long and then realised what I was saying. Okay, so that inflates them. Headrest, lean forward, got the button on the side there to release them back. All the original BMW mats. Okay, so take a look in the back. Again, the door card, all in really nice condition. The speakers. Puddle lights at the bottom, and then the door shuts. No seat belts have been jammed in there. See how glossy and shiny it is still. And then the back of the seat is always a good area to check. No nasties on the back there. come in all of the vents in the back not broken at all all the carpets really nice the mats in there and again the lever in the back nothing against child seats but it hasn't got any uh, stretch marks in there if you need to put a child seat in always buy one of those protective mats that goes over the seat it just saves the lever from getting stretched if they're left in all the time Obviously, being an M Sport's got the black headlining as well. So we finished in there. Right, let's get that key again. So using the key, we can open and close the boot. You have to press and hold it to close the boot. Just gonna show you now that the boot's open that all of the rubbers, there's no scratch marks. As I say, there's a lot of white in here and a lot of bright lights. So it's quite hard to keep it in focus. And as you can see there, it's going from one extreme to the other with the black and the, the white. But you can see it's all nice and clean. And the carpets in the back. 
and we've got the extended storage so you've got the little stretchy bits there and you also get the 12 volt plug up in the top there and then these little bits here for hanging shopping bags on just fold away and then we've got these sliding rails sorry the rails aren't sliding the locators these little things here for hooking stuff on you can adjust and there's some eyelets at the front as well and if we lift that up well that one's actually on a strut you've got some more storage space under there as well a little separation piece there you can take out so that all clips down we've got a little bit of netting there to hold stuff to the side and then the Harman Kardon speakers in both corners and the bottom parcel shelf and then we've got the top one up here and then the button to close the boot down or like I say press and hold the boot button and down that comes we'll move around to this side oh it's because i pressed the wrong button the first time and the door card on the offside rear again no damage nothing on the edges Get a better grip of this camera. Wow, you can see how much the the light changes. I'm trying to keep it all nice and clean all the way around. And the lever. And all the headrests in the back, I think that's an option, they all fold down. Usually it's just the middle one. Again, back of the seats. Come out of there. Driver side. All the edge of the door's okay here. And here. Let's open that up. Now we'll do the door card first. So being that this one's the one that gets all the use, there's no damage on there, no scratches, no dig marks. We've got the electric folding mirror button so you can manually fold them in. Also, depending which side you leave the left and right switch for the mirrors, when you go into reverse, that will turn on and off the auto dipping for the near side mirror, so it dips for the curb. Now this button here, if we press that, I think we might have to press and hold it. We need to put the ignition on, I think, for this. Okay, bear with me. That's now come up. And that's the rear spoiler that comes up at speed. And you'll notice that Hey, guess what? It's all nice and clean in there as well. So that just gives you a bit of extra downforce at the back. There's obviously a reason for it. And uh, like I say, that works automatically, but you have the option to lift it so you can sort of clean all around there, maintain it, I guess. So that's with this button here. Let's get that in focus. And then the green light's gone out to show you that it's all locked away. So before I jump in, I just wanted to run through, I'll just hold the camera here for a second. So we've got the Harman Kardon, the 19s, they're 400M the alloys, the Icon Adaptive Headlights, M Sport Brakes. We've got Enhanced Wireless Charging, Front and Rear Parking Sensors were an extra, Seat Heating was, 
electric folding mirrors were with the anti-dazzle, sun protection glass, extended storage, steering wheel heating, full black panel display, sliding armrest, Alpine whites, the color, aluminum finisher, concierge services, professional media, Wi-Fi hotspot as well. So it's about £5,000 worth of options according to my list. So I'm going to move the seat back a little bit so I can get in easier. Right, we're going to start her up. Let's put the lights on and so we can see a little bit clearer. Let's turn that off, put that down. So there's the mileage, 32,937, just in case I got it slightly wrong, I was trying to remember everything. And also on the steering wheel here, we've got a mode button, a wheel, volume control, voice activation, telephone. When you press the mode button, that brings up what they call the full black panel display. And you can flip through the radio stations here. And you press it again for FM, AM. Music collection is the hard drive. It's about 80 gig, I believe. Auxiliary, and back to DAB. And if you press the phone button, when the phone's connected, it will run through the last dialed numbers. Got speed limiter at the top here. Cruise control. So the speed limiter in the center of the screen there, you can move the roller button and set the speed and then the car won't drive over that. There is an emergency feature of that. So if you do push your foot down hard on the accelerator, it will accelerate past that, you know, for safety reasons. Um, cruise control, if you watch the needle on the outside here, if I turn it on again, you see it just come up and then you'd use the roller button to increase the speed but uh, we're not moving so it's not going to work unfortunately um, that's uh, Pat, let's bring you let's put this on the fan let's turn this down let's do this section next so I've got air con climate control dual control heated seats free stage both sides Got another USB port just there. And then where the wireless charging is, you've got another USB and an auxiliary there. So you can wirelessly charge your phone there. Just bring in, this is the parking sensor display. So you can see how close you're getting to the vehicle behind or in front. And then we've got our different drive modes, which is this button, Eco Pro through to Sport Plus. So if we go into Eco Pro, it would also show you on the display down here in blue in Eco Pro, it shows you just how many more miles you're gonna to get to the gallon. And uh, if you go into e configure, you can see here that you've got 92% here. Bring your speed down. So this is just showing you what the car's capable of. That's brought the um, efficiency up to 97%. I know if you take it down to 50, I think it runs about 100, yeah, 100%. Uh, the air con, if you put it into eco, you can see it just pumps it out a little bit slower and lose, uses a little bit less energy because it's another, the uh, air conditioning is working off of a, an auxiliary belt which is taking power for the engine. So obviously brings it in and out a little bit more gently, so it's not using it too much. And then coasting. So coasting, if I turn coasting off, look at that percentage, dropped by 10%. Put it on again. In coasting mode, the car has no engine braking, basically. It's almost like it goes into like freewheeling, obviously the word coasting. So you can come off the throttle a lot earlier, coming up to a junction, therefore saving fuel comfort mode is a balance setting in eco pro what it actually does the ecu uh, changes the way the engine will run uh, it feels a lot flatter on the throttle so comfort mode will be the next one up so that's a balance setting and then you've got uh, sport which is where you can have sport displays 
and you can see if I rev the engine you can see the power etc and also you can configure for power and chassis although I'm not I'm not sure this one I don't think this one's got the adaptive um, suspension so it won't change the suspension and if we go into Sport Plus that basically would turn off part of the traction control so it turns off the dynamic traction control if you press and hold the other traction control button for just about three or four seconds you'll see DSC the dynamic stability control has come off as well so at this point you'll see on here let's just do that again actually Drive well, stabilisation, driver assist, braking and steering intervention deactivated. So it's not going to inf interfere. Why would you take that off? Um, well, basically, you have an X-Drive, a four-wheel drive system. And if you read in the handbook, they do say, say to take off either part of the traction control and just let the four-wheel drive system do its work because you don't want the wheels, the, the traction control brings in the brakes for each uh, individual wheel. And therefore you don't want, if you're slipping on snow, you don't want the wheels to stop turning. So you don't want the traction control doing that. You want the, to keep giving you drive. So that's why one of the reasons you take it off. This is where you've got all your vehicle settings, lights, if you do the interior, always on sport, let's put it in classic. And then the lighting, Let's make sure that's turned up. Up underneath here is all lit in orange. Up on here and under the doors. Let's try and get that in focus. There we go. So at night it lights the car up nicely. Let's get this back. And the exterior. That's for your indicators, your welcome lights, home lights, etc. Door keys and comfort entry. So pressing and unlocking the windows uh, twice, the windows will open when the doors are closed. So actually, we'll put that on actually. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to press that one. Tailgate, if you've got a garage, you can adjust the height. As you can see, hello, hello, of the, that wasn't me by the way, it was someone else in the car. Um, you can adjust the height of the tailgate, relocking, locking after pulling away. God, what am I doing, eh? <laughs> you got to have a bit of fun. There's your speed warning, driver modes, and then you come down, this is where you've got you can change your displays, date, time, units. So you can change the power to horsepower and the torque to pounds if you're old like me. And then your sound, graphic equaliser, the Logic 7 surround sounds on. So you know, now pop-ups, the driving experience. So when you use the driver mode, obviously this comes up. If you don't want that to keep coming up, let's just go back. Turn that off, I'll press the Economy Pro, Eco Pro now, and you'll see that that hasn't, uh, it's changing over here through the modes, but it's not coming up in here. I like it turned on, but it just gives you the option. Software update, data privacy, getting started. So come out of there. Driver profiles, each key, only have one key in the car when you're setting this up. And all you have to do is open the car, you can go in here, change the profile name. Um, apostrophe. Oh, that's just get rid of that put an apostrophe in by accident. So that's delete the name that's in there. Delete. Okay. Did I need to? And then we're going to put in, you can write with the iDrive. And then we've named that key 
So basically, when you get into the car, all of your radio stations and how you left the car will automatically come back on the windows, the, um, sorry, not the windows, the wing mirrors, the positions of them. Just got that. Heated steering wheel under there, I wanted to show you. Or the cup holder area down here, if you look, it's a non smoker's car. Lovely and clean, look. It is absolutely spotless, no scratches. We've seen in there, we, was that a sliding armrest? Yep, so sliding armrest. All the glove box is really nice and tidy. I think we might have taken the books out and not put them back in. We've also, worth knowing that in here, the owner's handbook in here will have everything that's on the car. So I'm just gonna look up something on there. So what I was looking for, I was looking for, it was, was it in there, dynamic stability control. This is your X-Drive. There's little um, videos in here that show you how everything works as well. I think I need to have that. Oh, for some reason it won't play. Start. Oh. Capital extra. I think it wasn't turned on. There you go. This intelligent all wheel drive system transmits the power optimally to the road, even in difficult road conditions. To achieve this, sensors permanently monitor the driving situation of your vehicle and detect a wide range of different road surface conditions. So you get the idea, example, there's well lots the of different options in there. And the last thing, before we run out of patience with me, the service history, all in the car. If you click into them, you can see what was done on the last service. Had a big service there. It wasn't due that big a service, but it still had it. And it's had oil and mic filter and then engine oil, brake fluid again, so everything's up to date. If we come out of there, brake fluid, not due for another two years, we've just done it. Engine oil's been done. Rear brake pads, 12,000 miles, 37 on the front. Front brake pads, that's, yep, so that's all in there. I think we've covered pretty much everything. Um, just going back to the map very quickly, down on this side, the map views, perspective, you can save these features on the buttons, press and hold, and it'll memorize that view. It'll memorize telephone numbers as well. Very easy to use. Right, we're gonna jump out now. That will turn the car off. Just grab my paperwork. So thank you for taking the time to watch the video. It's a really nice car, this lovely condition and a lot of spec are on a GT that you don't often get. We've got lots of different finance options some fantastic warranty packages up to four years. So please give us a call. Look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.